Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to create a pink and gray balloon garland. I found this kit on Amazon and I wanted to recreate it for you and I did a poll on my Instagram stating which one that I should do and my Instagram fam voted and they picked it out a couple of weeks ago because of everything that's going on I didn't get to upload it right away but they decided on this one so I thought I'd give it a try so if you want to know how to create a pink and gray balloon garland from Amazon please keep watching Step number one, you want to ensure your space is clean. Now, if you're lazy like me and you're doing it at home or if you can't vacuum a venue space, you can just put down a tarp. I got my tarp from Dollar Tree. They're in the automobile section and that's what I use. I probably should be using two just because of how many balloons I get, but this will do. What would you do if I got your shot? What would you do if I got your shot? <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna see more of him in the video. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed this balloon kit. I didn't know if Amazon had good ones, but this seller was really good. So I ended up separating the sizes and colors in the kit. And then I love how it came with multi various sizes, so you don't have to worry about that. This kit was also amazing because it came with glue dots, which most kits do. And then it came with a balloon tire thingy, still don't know the name of it. And then they have also a balloon tape that you can attach the balloons to if you don't like the fishing wire. <laughs> Didn't I tell you he'd be back? <laughs> And this is not the last time so step two is to blow up your balloons now I'm not gonna slow-mo this because I've done multiple videos on my channel of how I tie and blow up the balloons I will link them in the description below so that way you guys can find out The next balloons you want to blow up are the glittery, sparkly confetti balloons. That's what it is. Confetti balloons. <laughs> and I usually rub them on my shirt or a microfiber towel will do just to get some static and so the confetti can stick. After you blow up the five inch balloons, you're gonna blow up the bigger balloons. Now, I used to hate blowing these up because I just don't know the measurement, but your rule of thumb with balloons is if it creates a cone shape, that means there's a lot of air in it and you wanna release that to create a rounder shape. And that's usually the max the balloon can take. So just an FRI when you are blowing balloons, if you see it turning into a cone shape, you can stop then and kind of release, put pressure on the balloons to release it. So it creates a round shape. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to blow up your foil balloons. Now I use the smaller nozzle on my balloon pump machine 
and it actually was giving me trouble and this is what I said about it in my previous video my Amazon favorites is that this machine is not ideal for blowing up foil balloons so if you know of a better way of doing this please comment down below and let us all know Blowing up these foil balloons, you do have to get creative. So I ended up using a straw to puncture a hole in between because the nozzle was not going down one of these. And it actually ended up helping blow some air in between. But again, like I said, probably a hand pump or using the straw, I mean, it just takes too long. So you do the best you can and get creative with this because again, if you know a better way, please let me know. Next, you're going to want to create your balloon garland. So in this step right here, I'm not going to go over too much about what I'm doing here. I will link in the description below on how to create a balloon garland and how I walk you step by step. So if you want to go check that out, definitely click the link in the description below. I have tried multiple ways of doing balloon garlands and I actually like the way this one came out because I decided to put most of the balloons, especially the big balloons, inside the garland base. Um, this helps create variations of sizes and I don't always put it aligned. Therefore I create more clusters with the balloons and that way it can take on a shape of its own. So in order for you to do that you want to make sure that the fishing wire is not tied too tight so that way you can manipulate it to the shape that you want it. Next, you're going to make sure that your balloon garland is the size that you want it. I always do this in every single garland at every single event to ensure that I am have enough balloons for that garland. So this typically could probably be about maybe 8 to 10 feet long um, and it just depends on how, how tall or going across. So you want to use your better judgment with that. Another Amazon favorite is those command hooks. So I usually take these command hooks on and off the, on my wall. If I do multiple balloon garlands, I'll keep them on there. But for this one, I took them off. So you just want to make sure that the red part is sticking to the actual hook. And then the black lettering part is sticking against your wall. You can hold it for about 30 seconds and then it should be fine. Next, you're going to take your balloon string and you're going to kind of pull a good amount of string and cut it. And then you're going to add it to your balloon garland. Now, this will help you when it comes to hanging it on the command hooks that are on the wall um, because you can adjust it. Don't tie it just yet. You're just going to adjust it. And then as soon as you figure out the height that you want it or how much it's pulling against the wall, then you can tie a knot to it. Oh yeah, say it. Say it so they can hear you.
<laughs> As you can see, that was his last appearance. So thank you to my husband. <laughs> so the next thing you're gonna do is just make sure you're filling out all of your balloon gardens at the bottom. I finally finished the fishing wire. Can you believe it? I can't. And then you're going to place glue dots on the five inch balloon. Now you're gonna place between two and three and they are really easy and simple. You just put it on the balloon and then kind of take the paper off and it sticks. It's pretty magical if you ask me and satisfying. Last thing before you um, finish your garlands, remember this is another Amazon favorite. You wanna make sure you use your little duster. Um, you can also use a microfiber towel and dust off your balloons. I completely forgot to get a close up of the dirt and hair that were on the balloons, even when the tarp was down just because of that many balloons that were blown up. But it definitely works, it makes a difference. This is your holy grail. Make sure you always remember to bring this with you to every event. So just know I will list all the links down below, especially for this kit. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave it a big thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Ooh, cute girl, yes, do your thing.